Are you building a fortress on a massive lake or a giant ocean? And there's a whole lot of pesky water right there. And it's just kind of wet and filling up the entire space and you can't really get around it. And underneath all of that pesky water, you also happen to have a very large cavern. And this very large cavern either is full of lava that needs to be turned into not lava, or alternatively, a bunch of really smelly cavern creatures that desperately deserve a shower. Well, I've got a real quick one-stop solution for you. Simply go underneath that lake or ocean, and then dig stairs upwards. Fun fact, if there's an aquifer there, you'll just dig directly through the aquifer if you're digging up from underneath. A little-known fact about the uh, cancellation thing that happens in Dwarf Fortress when you are digging down and you hit something that is wet or hot, as in water or lava, it cancels the job. Well, if you're digging up from underneath using stairs, it doesn't actually do this. So your dwarves can just happily dig directly up through your aquifer and not even collide with it. Once you are finished digging your stairs, simply install a drawbridge or floodgates at the bottom so that nothing can flow out of the bottom. Basically, you need to dig your stairs from the bottom of the lake, one layer below the lake, all the way down to right above where you want the water to go, and then dig a little uh, across a little bit, and then place a drawbridge there. Just make sure that there's no debris in the actual stairwell, such as boulders, if you are going to use floodgates, because floodgates can get blocked by boulders. Then you want to connect this to a lever. Once it's connected to a lever, you're then going to go to the top of the stairs, which are, of course, going to be exactly one layer below the lake or ocean. You're then going to build a structure above this. You're going to use a support to support the structure directly above the lake. Now, supports can be used to drop things. They can be connected to levers. So you're going to build another lever close by, just so you remember where it is, and connect it to the support. Then what you're going to do is remove all of the support from the flooring or walls to the edge of the map. Basically, the only thing holding it up now is the pillar or the support pillar. And this pillar needs to be directly above the stairway below. In this video, if it looks a little confusing, it's because I'm actually using the tree branches above it to support the floors. Once it's completely separated from the shore, it is completely constructed, and the mechanism is hooked up, go ahead and pull that lever. That will make the support disappear, because it's been destroyed by the lever. This is only a one-use mechanism, by the way, so it is just going to break when you pull this. When the construction, either floor or wall, that you have built above the base of the stairwell collapses, it will break and remove the ground level right above the the stairs. This will then allow the water to flow th freely down the stairwell and into your end location. And assuming the drawbridge at the bottom is closed, it will then fill all the way up and then flatten out again. Then when you are ready to turn your cavern layer into a massive shower, you can do this by pulling your drawbridge lever. Now, if you make three or four of these, you could actually quite effectively drain an entire lake, or at least a good portion of it. Go in there and wall it off, and then have a safe space. Or, you want to, say, drain a portion of an ocean. You could do a square one of these, and then drain that. You could also drain it into a reservoir, and then have a large amount of water underground. Or, alternatively, drain it off the edges of the map by simply digging to the edges of the map in stone, smoothing them, putting crossbow or markstorf fortifications into the wall, basically making small holes in the wall and letting it flow off the edge, if you don't want it going into your caverns. I personally like it going into the caverns because in this case, I wanted to seal off all of this obsidian. And it's also just, you know, really fun to suddenly fill an entire cavern up with a whole bunch of water. The deeper the water, the better the effect. This is a really shallow lake, so it doesn't have a lot of pressure behind it, but if you were to do this on an eight layer deep ocean, oh boy, the amount of pressure would be immense. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.